This weekend, millions of Americans will be traveling for the Memorial Day holiday at a time when COVID infections here are making a comeback. And based on the latest data, the risk of someone on your flight having COVID is actually a lot higher you, than you might think. No mask, no mask. At San Diego Airport's Terminal 1. No mask. We ran a little unscientific experiment. All right, we got three no masks so far. We watched 100 people enter the security line and we counted how many were wearing masks. All right, we got one mask. Just 17% of the travelers had one on. And then we asked people a question. What do you think the odds are of one person having COVID on your flight? Ooh, maybe 15%? Maybe a 25% chance? 25%. Probably like 5%. New numbers from UC San Francisco suggest it's much higher. Everyone who enters their hospitals gets tested for COVID. And this week, they found an average of 6.2% of people were infected with no symptoms. UC San Diego's screening program found similar results. If you take that 6.2% and you multiply it out on a plane with 150 people, that means the odds of at least one person having COVID are 99.993%. That's why I wear my mask. That's why I have a mask because you don't know who and don't because just because you don't show symptoms doesn't mean you can't carry. To be sure, airplanes do have advanced filtration systems, so they are lower risk than some indoor environments. A modeling study last year estimated that the average risk of infection during a two hour flight with no masks was 2.5%. If you sat next to an infected person, the risk rose to 60%. However, that study was based on the infectivity of the original virus, not the ultra transmissible Omicron variants that we have today. Do you plan to wear a mask on the plane? Yes, I do have a mask. On their way to Las Vegas, Olivia Jomock and James Carter told us if more people knew the odds, there would be a lot more people in masks. I like this afternoon I spoke with UC San Diego's Dr. Robert Schooley. He says there's as much COVID in the wastewater in Point Loma right now as there was during the Delta surge. So he says if he were traveling, he would wear a mask both on the plane and in the terminal.